Well, greetings, dear absolute legend, and welcome to another video. This time, we're taking a look at the Rider Hero series coming right gov popping gummy form. Now, to be honest, I wasn't even going to review this figure. Um, to be honest, I forgot I even bought this figure um, until someone mentioned, Can you review this figure? And I was like, Oh crap, I actually bought this one and uh, found him at the bottom of my bag. Um, so, yeah, uh, it was kind of like a yeah, why not purchase. Um, and yeah, I just completely forgot I bought him. So, yeah, I'm a bit stupid. Um, but anyway, going to the tag first, and a little bit of a petty thing to complain about, but god damn, they changed the tag again. Every single series, they've been changing the tag. Uh, the Geats had its own tag, then they went back and um, made a bunch of the past writers. They were all, uh, you know, their own tags, which, in my opinion, those were the best tags. Um, and then the Gutchard, um, yeah, as you can see here, they changed the tag once again. It's the only one I could find right now, um, but yeah, as you can see, it's a card. And then once again, they changed the tag for Gov. Um, this time it's sort of like an old Hero series tag where it's, you know, folded like this. Um, so yeah, I, I, can, can you please keep the tags consistent? I know, I know once again, it's a petty thing to complain about, but um, I like consistency, what can I say? But anyway, here we have the tag and yep, got a goddamn shot of his noggin right there. Um, and that's about it. Just come around a gov popping gummy form QR code here um, and just yeah stuff there's the back wow there's the inside w wow that's a lot of information but anyway we're going to figure <laughs> anyway going to the figure first I mean going to the figure now yeah I just woke up I'm a bit stupid but anyway here we have coming right a gov popping gummy form um, so what do you guys think of this new motif um, I think the not the base form, but I guess the standard form of Gov is pretty cool looking. But I will say, I'm not digging the other forms. The marshmallow form just looks ridiculous, and he has the crisps form, which also looks really unappealing. Um, the, the gunslinger chocolate form is okay until you realize that it's chocolate. Um, I'm not really liking the candy gimmick. But anyway, uh, let's just get on with the figure before I get a goddamn mob at my door. Um, but yeah, here we have a closer look at the face, and as you can see, it's painted fairly competently. Um, right here is series, they miss a lot of paint apps, but um, yeah, I think it's a decent job, you know, you've got the blue outline, the purple in the middle, the yellow eyes, missing the yellow dot on his forehead. But looking at the tag, um, as you can see, the blue should be sort of fading to the purple, the purple should fade to the blue, whichever way you want to go. Um, but as you can see, it just goes from purple straight to blue. I didn't really expect that kind of paint you know, detailing with the simple cheaper figure. Moving on down the body and I think it's been painted pretty competently. You got the purple, the blue, the yellow, but if you turn around there's absolutely no paint apps, but everything is properly sculpted so if you want you can paint these yourself. I probably won't be doing that because I am one lazy bastard. And there we have a closer look at the belt, which is this weird thing that eats other things. Moving on down the legs, they do in fact look like legs, and oh my goodness, look at that paint detailing. Um, as you can see, the blue does fade to the purple, and then fades to the yellow, that is pretty damn good. Really didn't expect this kind of paint detailing on a simple Rider Hero series figure, but good god, they pulled it off. But anyway, when it comes to the articulation, the arm does rotate, um, the shoulder pad does get in the way though. And then the waist rotates as well, so just a basic three points of articulation. A little bit limited by the shoulders though. But anyway, on with some size comparisons. Here we have Gachard, Ultra Hero Series Arc, a Chun Li, my good friend Jim, and the SH figure at Sagi. So overall, this is a pretty basic figure. The paint's not bad for a Rider Hero Series figure. Bit of a backhanded compliment, but um, I do think they did a fairly okay job for, you know, the price point and all that. So yeah, if you found the character, I don't even think the series is out yet, but if you found this design, I guess, um, yeah, I guess I recommend picking this figure up. Yeah. 